TNG, the next generation, a genealogy application. This video is brought to you by the Alberta Family History Society through the website feature familygenes.ca. Starting from scratch. Before starting your first TNG family site, do you want to start adding family members from scratch into TNG by direct entry or Will you transfer your information out of a computer family tree application? If the latter, then go on to video number four. Your TNG application needs to be made secure from intruders. This is done by adding the first user with the login and password. Then you need to identify the starting family tree. We will start with these first two steps, then go on to adding the first person into TNG. Open up a browser window and go to your TNG family site. This is the welcoming page for TNG visitors. Don't worry about the appearance as that gets addressed in the next video. On the left hand side is the main menu as seen by your visitors to the site. It should not have administration on the visitor's welcome page. If you do see administration, we need to add a first user account. Log into TNG using the username and password provided by Family Genes. You can change this password later. Now, administration appears in the main menu for me because I have admin privileges. Click on administration to arrive at the administrator's main menu. From here you can access all areas of TNG. The next step is to add our first family tree. You need at least one tree before you can enter or import people, families, sources, or repositories. If you use family genes to create this TNG site, you likely have the first tree already set up. Trees are independent. You cannot link a person from one tree to people or to families in another tree. Instead, use branches for linking separate family lines. Add a tree. Tree IDs. Use a tree ID that makes sense to you and your users, but be careful, you cannot change it later on. Tree IDs will appear in any pull-down lists on the screens. Tree names. Use a short display name or phrase. This name will appear on all tree selection boxes. Your visitors will know the tree by this name. Tree names could be the surname, as in Weber, or descriptives like mother's side, English ancestors, and so on. Tree description. You can optionally add a descriptive paragraph here to inform your visitors. The rest of the fields, such as owner, email, and so on, are optional. You may want to set these privacy checkboxes based on your intent with users. Use the online help for an explanation. If you have only one tree entered, then it becomes the default tree for all added persons and families. Next we'll go on to adding a user. Add a user. Note that I am already a user. That is why administration did not appear on the welcoming screen when we started. Be sure that you have administration privileges set for yourself, or you may not be able to get back in. User description can be the person's name, but does not have to be. It could be site administrator or Ontario cousin, for example. The username is how a person will log into the TNG account. It does not have any spaces or special characters.
Add an email address if you want this person to receive mass email outs from your TNG website. Be sure to assign this user to a tree. If this user is already in the tree database, you can add their person ID here. That way they can see living data for their own record. Now scroll down the screen to set up roles and rights for this user. There are several levels of privileges for your TNG users. Check the TNG help area for further information. New users will be set to guest privileges by default. Guest users have no privileges to view any information on living or private individuals, nor can they download any information. There are more security settings available in the setup area, which will be discussed in another video. Notice that if you have set the user to administrator rights, all the rights are automatically set to full allow. We will save the settings for this new user, Jason Benedict. This will return us to the user's page. We now have two users, myself and my son, both with administrator roles. Go ahead and add your fellow family researchers and let them know by email. You will have set up their initial passwords but they should log in and change the passwords to their own preferences.